I thought it was about time to add another product to the Luala Isa range of high quality gourmet products. We already, of course, have the Maxilatico. Uh, we have the Maxilatico chocolate bar as well, which didn't work out quite so well. And of course, with the Finnish consumer in mind, the next natural thing was to do a licorice of some sort. Originally, I wanted to make salmiakki, and of course that includes using ammonia chloride, which when I was Googling got me a little bit scared. Uh, apparently you kind of need to know what you're doing and if you've watched any of my cooking videos, you'll know I have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll save that for another day. <laughs> but lakritsi looked safe, looked like I could do it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna add lakritsi, licorice, to the Luola Isa family of products. So I have found a recipe at random almost. It was kind of the first thing that came up. It's actually an Iltelehti uh, article which has this recipe. And of course, I'll leave the uh, link to the recipe in the description if you would like to make your own. We need water. Okay, actually the first thing we need to do is get a saucepan. I don't know if this will be big enough. All right, we're gonna get started. I haven't actually measured out all of my ingredients, which is a huge mistake. And now I'm kind of getting a little bit uh, stressed. So I've got quarter deciliter of water, half a deciliter of dark syrup, fire this in there. I'm just reading the ingredients list, assuming it all just gets thrown in the pan, but maybe I should check the recipe. It says half a deciliter of this dark sugar. I don't know, this always gets me a little bit anxious. I don't know if it's like if you squish it down or if it's just like if you ooh, throw it in there a little bit. I'm gonna go with that. I mean, it is basically just throw all the ingredients into the pan, let it cook for a bit, and then something else happens. I haven't actually read the instructions yet. From what I can see, it sounds really simple, and I'm wondering why more people don't do this. Maybe that will change. Then we need one teaspoon of something called licorice root, which I've never seen before. Ooh, wow. Doesn't smell anything like licorice, which is quite interesting. Oh, that smells so bad, that licorice root. Oh man. Uh-oh. This anise is supposed to be ground, and it looks like I've got like big old chunks of it. Uh, but it's boiling already. This is why you always prepare your ingredients first. I'm kind of wondering if I should take this off the heat and prepare, or if, the, if that will be disastrous. Man, I'm su in such a mess right now. A little salt, what does that even mean? Okay, we're just gonna go, uh, pinch of salt. Maybe we'll go with two pinches. So this is what we've got so far, kind of just a black or brown slop. But don't worry, it's got, it's got lumps. Every, everyone knows that's a good thing in cooking. Ground anise. I'm gonna have to get... I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm in my toolbox right now. Now we're going manual. It's at least more powder-like. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Now it says boil for two minutes. I, so far I've been recording for almost 20 minutes and this has been more or less boiling the whole time. <laughs> 20 minutes, two minutes, got a two in there somewhere. Oh dear, okay, well, I guess then that part is done. I just wanna try and get rid of some of these lumps. So the next step, once this is bubbled or boiled for two minutes, is to add some vehna yauho. I can't find the sieve to sieve the flour. Oh, that smells burnt, whoopsie. We have a, a, a sludge. We have a, a burning smelling sludge. There's at least no lumps now. It's just one giant lump. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. We're okay. I think that's about right for the flour. Uh, I can't find my sieve. I can't find the sieve anywhere. So uh, I, I'm gonna use a cheese grater. Can't ever have anything go simply in this bloody show. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, well that actually works. <laughs> it works. Oops, now we're bubbling again. Let's turn this down. Oh, okay. Yeah, that shouldn't be doing that. Oopsie. I had my heat with too high, I think. Look, one had sieve. I think I'm onto something here. You can test its thickness by taking a spoon and cooling it under cool water. Yeah, I've kind of also burnt the bottom of the pan. 
Uh, so, nobody tell Kat, she will kill me. This is not the first pan I've ruined making a cooking video. <laughs> oh my God, she's gonna kill me. I mean, that's instantly like... Ha, oh, hell, shit, ow. Ah, oh, that was so hot. So now it looks like this. Then we pour it onto some baking paper. Let's see what we have here. I mean, the color isn't very <laughs> appetizing, I guess you could say <laughs> at the very least. So it's a poo brown. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. it's, a, it's a poo brown. Licorice is of course uh, traditionally black. So I think I've gone wrong somewhere. And it's just occurred to me on that article, there was actually uh, a video and I should have Definitely have watched that <laughs> before undertaking this. But you know what? Everything we've been through today, and funny enough, there's been a lot. Even though I've been only recording now for about half an hour, <laughs> we've been through a lot. We've learned a lot about each other, and uh, I feel like we're better, better friends now. Now I just have a, a, a blob of poop-colored licorice on my table. Good. That's what I, I always wanted. It does taste good. Like. This it tastes really, really quite good. I just wonder why it's brown. To make this unique and to make this Lua La Isa worthy of the brand name, uh, I bought some sugar paste. So with this, I'm gonna put it inside, roll it up and make my own version of those, you know, licorice rods. They're my favorite. And the other one, I think I'm just gonna put a few like large grains of uh, sea salt. So it's a bit more of a salty. So we got salty side, and the sweet side. But first, I think this needs to cool, or, oh wow, I mean, it's already pretty, pretty cool. I have never used sugar paste before, didn't know it existed. Don't even know if it's the right thing to be using, and I don't even know what flavor it is. It's red, red flavor. Smells like strawberry. Smells really nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's working. Wow, something actually went right here. I thought this was just gonna peel off like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, not quite what I was expecting. By the way, if you've come across this video and thought, oh, I'm gonna learn how to make luckily here today. I'm gonna learn how to make licorice. Well, if you've stayed this far in the video, I mean, that's your own fault. <laughs> Surely, like within the first minute, you would have realized this is not a tutorial. This is an, an idiot who wants to have some fun and, uh, well, that's, that's more or less it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna roll up our first piece here. Everything is literally sticking to everything else. I mean, I'm fairly sure if you go to the Fatsa factory, the Panda factory, wherever you want, you'll just see this exact process happening. So here's my licorice. <laughs> well, it just kind of droops down. It's like, Dave, this isn't how I'm supposed to be, man. Now, actually, the way that kind of drooped in, in a defeated kind of way is giving me an idea for an innovation. And I know what you're thinking, Dave, there's been so much innovation today. Stop it. I can't help it. I'm gonna make a licorice pretzel. Yeah, the last thing in life I thought I'd ever do. Oh, is it even just like that? Yeah, go on then. Maybe Dave's pretzel. Little salt on top. Bloody ton of salt on top. Mm -hmm. All jokes aside, this has actually been really fun, like kind of figuring it out. I know I had the recipe and yeah, sure, Google Translate translated it for me on my phone, but for the most part, this has just been luck. And now, and now I'm literally like I'm shaping my own licorice. And this is fun, I like this. Little sea salt, I'm just gonna put it here. It's kind of, that, that, that was the signature move right there. Look at that. That's what separates, you know, this high quality handcrafted licorice from the trash you find in the store. Now, I think all that is left to do now is let these cool properly and get Kat, my wife, to try them. Because of course, I'm gonna be biased. I think they're gonna be delicious. So, here we have three new products for the Lua La Issa range of mm -hmm. uh, foods. Is it a dog poo range? <laughs> well, that one especially looks a bit suspect. Well, I have to explain. Okay. 
So this one is the salty licorice mm -hmm. with sea salt. Is that custom in the world of licorice <laughs> to have salt on top of it? I don't know, but it, it is for the. It is for, for the, this one. I have to make something things. different. Yes, you know? yes. Uh, this one is strawberry filled mm -hmm. with no salt, and this one the licorice pretzel. Licorice pretzel. Why is it red? That is the secret strawberry filling. Yeah, you can try that one. Don't protect my feelings. I did work very hard on these though. Initial thoughts. Bit chew chewy. Bit chewy. I, I can agree on that. Actually. Or like it like melts, so it's not like chewing gum, but it's a bit. Mm? It's not uh, as dry as a normal. I put it down on paper and now it has some paper on the back. So we're gonna have to try and eat around that. Was mm. it too thick? Oh, mother. Mm. Salt? Mm. Too salty? Mm. But that one had the salt on top. Mm. And that one tasted better to me. You liked it with the mm. salt, extra salt. Yeah. Mm. I am quite proud of the pretzel though. I think this is an innovation that is worth having. Could ask why they haven't done this before. World exclusive. Tasted worse things actually. I was expecting that to be weirder than it is. I like that the best. I don't like the shape or how it looks. But the taste is the best. But the, the best. taste is the best. So a little salt with the filling in the shape of a pretzel. Yeah, but everything is too intense. The recipe was of course in Finnish. Mm -hmm. Google Translate did its best. Uh, but also I hadn't weighed out all the ingredients. <laughs> so You just eyeballed it. Oh no, I, I weighed them out, just not ahead of time. Uh -huh. So when I was mixing everything, the, the second instruction was boil for two minutes. And by that point, it was like 18 minutes that it all got kind of cooking. So <laughs> maybe that's where we're getting our slight burnt flavor from. Yeah, maybe. And uh, I, I may have also ruined a pot and a spoon. Coming to a store near you yeah. soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to refine the, the yeah. process a little bit, but uh, I'm happy with, especially with the pretzel. Yeah. Mm. But there we go, guys. That is about it for this episode of Cat and Katie. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like, and uh, the recipe will be in the description if you want to try it yourself. And if you do, definitely send me a picture on Instagram. I want to see if this is how it's supposed to look <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering why it's not black. Yeah, I think there's probably some like additives Coloring, and the yeah. color mm, and yeah. stuff. I hope so. Yours is organic. Yeah, real artisanal. <laughs> but guys, thank you once again for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.